I'll tell you, it is a real joy to be here with Brian the Willow Man yes. from Willow Station. And Brian, you know, when, when is a twig not a twig? I think when it becomes a piece of furniture. Yes. <laughs> and that's what you do with, with just old twigs. We do. Now, I see some of them are over here. First of all, how do you go about getting the twigs that you use? People call me on the phone quite a bit and say, you know, I've got a tree I've trimmed. Could you come by and pick up the twigs? And that is just a great benefit for us. So really, it's a great recycling effort as it well. Is. We do a lot of recycling. Now, yes. I would think that to be as creative, because I've known you a long time now, and you have some beautiful, really works of art. Where do you get your creative process from? A lot of times I'll find a book like this, uh, William, a uh, rustic furniture book. And, you know, mm -hmm. you look through it and you can find just so many different things in it to give you spark ideas. And, and then I go to my twig shop and uh, voila, I create uh, these uh, works of art. And they really are, too. Now, uh, I see kind of a little setup here in front of us. Go over some of the steps of how you start and then the process of how we get to this beautiful piece of uh, furniture here. Sure, William. I start basically with a jig and a tripod. Say if we want to build a table like this with a nice tripod base. And then I go ahead and put on the top. And then I go ahead and put on the twigs. And then I go around with my router, my jigsaw here, and get that all trimmed up nice. And then I'll take and finish the edges with, uh, with the bent willow. And look, at it really is beautiful. And what I love is you, your attention to detail. I mean, even underneath the table, you have all these twigs coming out. Isn't that sweet? It, uh -huh. it really is charming. Now, what is there behind us here? Let's talk about some of these pieces because they're really, really beautiful. This is a little plant stand here. You can put your various cascading plants in it. Uh, actually, you could put a little waterfall in it too, and it looks really nice uh, in the right setting. Yeah, and the fun thing I love about um, all of your pieces, really, indoor or outdoor. They can be. We put them in a covered foyer, a, a patio setting covering is really nice. Uh, we like to do that. Uh, we'll just take three boxes like this we can get at a craft uh, store. Uh, very inexpensive and then build the twigs around it to make it with a nice base and uh, it makes for a very nice floral arrangement. What do you do, Brian, uh, when, you, when, when they're done? How do you take care of them if you want to use them outside? To do that, you need to finish it uh, every year with a varnish uh, to protect it and coat it. Just brush it on and let it dry and uh, it'll give it a lot of life. And, you know, I, I've had one of your benches now for, gosh, four years, I think and it looks the same as it did. I followed your instructions. I do keep it out of the you know, rain in the winter yes. time. I put it yes. under cover, but it looks just like it did. It's a little darker, which is beautiful, which yeah. is, by the way, what this is, which is an older piece. Yes, exactly. So it really gets this luster. Now, what product did you put on it to give it this? That was a marine varnish again, spar marine varnish. Finish Absolutely on that. beautiful. And I must say, uh, this piece is breathtaking. I <laughs> just, it's absolutely wonderful. And again, inside or outside. Mm -hmm. And again, William, we'll have pieces like this at the Garden Palooza coming up. So if you want to see more twig work like this, please attend. Well, in fact, all day long at Garden Palooza, you are going to be showing how to build these. You're going to be we building are. them as they're My there. wonderful wife and I will be working away with our little hammers, twigging away, having a real good time. Well, you know, if you want to see more of Brian's work, and really trust me, you do, because it's beautiful, come on out to Garden Palooza, and you can see him building it. You can ask him questions, and you can pick up a couple pieces to take home. Brian, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you, William.